Lady Arabelle's associate. What news do you bring me? I've been sending messengers throughout the countryside, but so far I've only managed to gather a handful of knights. I was about to send them the order to head out when I saw you approaching. Does this mean you have news from Lady Arabelle? That's excellent news! My congratulations to you and Lady Arabelle. I'll still send the knights, but now their orders will be to shore up the castle's defenses, not rush into a war. But pray tell, where are the delegates now? Of course, All Flag's castle must be half in ruins after what I can only imagine was a fierce and costly battle. I'll get with Lady Arabelle, and we'll thank the delegates for their patience. I do believe another celebration is in order, though. Don't be modest, friend. From what I already know of your exploits, I can only imagine the heroics you demonstrated at All Flag's castle. Inform Lady Arabelle. We'll gather at Gonfalon Palace to celebrate your courage and the safety of the delegates. How often does someone get to save three realms in the same day? Your actions are an inspiration. I wonder, though, did the Ascendant Magus inadvertently help us by attacking the royals? We shall see. Go. Tell Arabelle. She'll make the arrangements. Did they now? I can't wait to hear the entire story. I, I am surprised they didn't make use of the wards protecting Memorial Hall, though. Uh, we prepared the site to keep the delegates safe throughout the peace talks. Yes, I saw his power firsthand at Castle Navir. And Valesia explained that he somehow drew power from the volcanic vents that permeate the islands. A reckless use of magic with little regard for consequences. Where did he learn that, I wonder? Damard de Fort! Astonishing! I was certain the Magus was going to turn out to be one of the Monards. Tell me, what of this mysterious Ascendant Lord you encountered beneath Castle Navir? Did you learn anything about him? Cowards like that let others do the fighting for them. I imagine he's in hiding, fearing exposure and seeking a way to rebuild his forces. I suspect the Lord will remain in the shadows for now. Stay vigilant. Inform me if you learn anything more. Welcome, my dear. What news do you bring from Steadfast Manor? Were you able to meet with Lord Bacaro, dear? What did he say when you told him about our victory? An excellent idea. Lord Bacaro knows it's vital to bring the delegates back to the table. After recent events, their faith in diplomacy might well be suspect. But a party, that's something they can all agree on. Can I impose on you again, dear? Tell the delegates Lord Bacaro dearly hopes they can attend a gathering at Gonfalon Palace. If anyone hesitates, use your charms to convince them to join us. Meanwhile, I'll throw something together. Meet me at Gonfalon Palace when you're done. Royals, no concern for their own safety. They each went off in search of a diversion. High King Emmerich to the temple, Queen Irene to stroll the harbor, and Prince Ernscar to the inn. I asked the sister's guard to keep an eye on them, discreetly. Leave that to me, dear. I'll send Jakan to round up our three brave captains and put them to work. It'll be all hands on deck, as it were, but I think we can manage. You just make sure the Alliance leaders attend the party. These royals are a stubborn lot, or hadn't you noticed? I can never predict what they will do from one moment to the next. Remind them these peace talks are imperative. If that doesn't work, tell them the other two accepted your invitation. Sometimes a few untruths are required to grease the wheels of diplomacy. 
The royals will see right through the ruse, of course, but they'll play along. All they need is a reason to believe that this isn't a waste of their time. Come on, just one more match. Give me a chance to win my gold back. And what will you bet? Hello, friend. That ridiculous nose Looking ring? Looking for me? Find another racket, Bragas. Tribute ain't I've always loved the sea. Comes from growing up on Somerset, I suppose. But what can I do for you, my friend? Don't tell me there are more rogue knights threatening High Isle. A party? Just another excuse to get me and Emmerich in the same room. Oh, very well. If we could face unprecedented danger together, we can probably survive sharing a few drinks and some food. And where will this gala event be held? That's probably for the best. It's close by. And All Flags Castle was quite a mess after the battle with the Ascendant Magus. It will take Lord Bakara a considerable effort if he plans to make it ready for the conference again. Most of the belongings I brought along were lost when the perfect pounce sank into the sea. I wonder if I can find any suitable attire on this island. Breton tastes leave something to be desired. What am I thinking? This outfit is perfectly fine. We did not discuss peace, if that's what you're asking. We disagree on important issues, which is why diplomacy usually begins with social occasions. Banquets, balls, hunts and the like. Rarely do they involve fighting for your life, though. We regaled each other with tales of how we survived the shipwrecks and our adventures on Aminos. I believed Emmerich was past his prime, no longer the great hero. And Ernskar struck me as young and brash. I now have a different perspective. The stories I've heard about Queen Iren are incredible. I wonder if even half of them are true. Sickness came unto our shores, concoct the Elysian Sea. The good folk shook the bad folk side and told this tale to me. Dead, dead, well met, dead friend. From Come have a drink with me. It was the After the battles we endured, I was hoping to find a celebration. Unfortunately, this inn is as dead as the elk served at the Skull King's table. Have you come to drink with me, perhaps, my friend? Well, that's a welcome bit of news. Even a party full of royals and nobles has got to be better than this place. Wait, will Emmerich and Iron be in attendance? If they decline the invitation, I probably should as well. And it seems I have no other choice. I will attend Lord Beccaro's celebration, and if the festivities evolve into more serious conversations, Perhaps I will even listen. I'll see you there, my friend. Wait until the Skull King hears what he missed. <laughs> Raging storms, a deadly jungle, a battle against near hopeless odds at an ancient castle. <laughs> my father is going to kick himself. Well, maybe not about the storms. He gets sick at sea. Absolutely. 
He was an adventuring bard before he took the throne of Eastern Skyrim. He's not as ancient as Emmerich, and that old lion enjoyed himself, uh, when we weren't almost dying, at least. I'll send a report to my father. Tell him all about it. As long as nothing else out of the ordinary happens, I'll stay. At least for a while. The weather here on High Isle is so much nicer than what we have in Windhelm. I can do without the cold and the snow for a little longer. Slayer, to what do I owe this pleasure? Have I thanked you yet for all you've done? Not just for the alliances and Lady Arabel, but for me personally. No? Well, thank you, my friend. I don't know many people who could have beaten the Ascendant Magus. But what brings you to the temple? Hmm, another royal function. I'm getting tired of those. Ghastly affairs in most cases. I was just considering heading home. Queen Maria must be missing me terribly. Unless... Is the celebration in my honor? It's, it's bad form to refuse such parties. I ran an Ernskar? Well, I can't allow them to attend and not show up myself. And I guess I do owe them something of a debt, too. They did help us on Amanos and at All Flags Castle. All right, I'll attend Lord Bakaro's celebration. It seems I'll need to pay more attention to the Sisters Archipelago in the future. My negligence allowed treason to fester and bloom unchecked. That changes now. But enough grim talk. We must celebrate. I will see you at Lord Bakaro's gathering. I will need to treat that situation delicately. Until I can prove one way or another that Duchess Elea was truly ignorant of her brother's plot, I can't in good conscience reprimand the entire house. Still, I don't take treason lightly. No, but we didn't exterminate all of those Order bastards, and their so-called Ascendant Lord is still loose. I have no doubt his rogue knights will rise against us again. I'll withhold judgment on the Duforts until my daggers investigate, though. Fills my heart with pride to know the High King knows something of our deeds. Believe it. An ascendant order sailed a fleet right into the lock. I heard there was a terrible battle at All Flags Islet. Got a moment? Lord Bacaro may have proclaimed that this was a celebration for the Alliance leaders, but everyone came out to see the hero who saved All Flags Castle. I'm impressed how fast the word got around. Even if I may have had something to do with that. Just wanted you to know, I worked it out with Lady Arabelle. She considers my debt to her paid in full. I think she may have confused me with you, but I'll take it any way I can get it. 
So go in and enjoy the party. I'm sure I'll see you around. I put on a few disguises, sure. And I'm glad everyone's safe, but all this hero stuff gives me a rash. I'm not supposed to attract so much attention. Anyway, Lady Arabelle wants a word with you before she starts the main event. She's waiting inside. Not my finest work, but I think this venue will do. I see you convinced our royal guest to come to our little gathering. Well done, dear. Now for the tricky part. Persuading them to stay for Lord Bokaro's talks. After so many perils, I suppose I couldn't blame them if they decided to leave. Excellent, dear. You saved Emmerich and the others from the Ascended Order and ended the threat of the Magus. Plus, you salvaged the talks and restored the hope for peace. Take this. This is your day as much as anyone's. I have to address the crowd. We're here to celebrate the coming together of three great leaders, and to show our appreciation for a hero who saved the delegates and kept our hopes for peace alive. On behalf of Lord Bakaro and the Society of the Steadfast, I ask our honored guests to enjoy the celebration. The Old Mary Dominion thanks our hero and promises to participate when the talks resume. The Ebonheart Pact wholeheartedly agrees. As does the Daggerfall Covenant. Three cheers for our hero and for Lord Bakaro. Well said, High King. And well said, Queen and Prince, let the celebration begin! 